Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another crypto tutorial. I got my new, brand new Keystone wallet, the hardware wallet of the future, and I'm gonna make multiple videos of tutorials and reviews about this kind of amazing hardware wallet. And today we're gonna learn how to set up a Keystone wallet properly in a secure way, step by step for beginners. So if you want to learn how to do it or you are worried to open your Keystone wallet and you want to follow with me step by step, watch this video and do it with me while you unbox your Keystone wallet. But before we start, subscribe to the channel and smash smash the like button so YouTube algorithm will expose this video to more people that want to learn how to set up a Keystone wallet. Now without further ado, let's get started. All right, so this is the Keystone wallet, as you can see over here. It has an amazing touch screen. It has, it has a camera. This is the Keystone Pro. It has a, a touch basically detector for security and hand security. And right here you have the SD card inserted. The Keystone wallet, unfortunately, right now does not come with an SD card. So you can simply go to a shop, electronic shop and buy the most simple one. I bought the 16 gigabyte one, Toshiba one. It cost around five euros, so it's not such a big deal, but hopefully they are planning in the next products to ship when you buy Keystone also this kind of SD card. This is used by the wallet. So make sure to get this SD card. Now you have two batteries when you unpack the Keystone wallet you have this the battery where basically it's charged the battery it's USD battery you can see it over here you, you can take it out over here this is how it looks like and as you can see this battery can be charged with a USB cable that comes with a Keystone wallet and also you have this kind of battle battery that basically it's you can use um, basically one-time batteries in order to make it work I prefer this kind of a rechargeable battery because it's quite convenient and easy to recharge. So once you put a battery in, the first thing you want to do is click here this kind of button to uh, basically turn on your Keystone wallet. By the way guys, there is a special promotion only for the first 10 people who are gonna purchase using the link in the description below. You're gonna get 5% discount directly exclusive offer for Johnny Time community from the Keystone core team. So don't wait, use the link in the description below. Make sure to keep holding the, the power button so basically the Keystone wallet will set up and then you have this kind of Keystone a setup message where it shows that the wallet is setting up. Uh, this is the first wallet that actually has a touch screen with colors, unlike the ledger or the treasure, which is quite impressive. And the first thing that it will do is the security verification in progress. Now, I already verified my Keystone device, but once you order your Keystone wallet, you want to verify that no one basically uh, played with the wallet, no one opened the package or maybe installed a backdoor that will help them later on to steal your crypto tokens because this kind of supply chain attack exists unfortunately also in hardware wallet and Thankfully, Keystone has an amazing feature. Once you go to Keystone Don't One Guide Steps One, basically this is the website that you see in front of you right now on the screen. You can actually scan the QR code, put here the code that you get, and that's how they verify automatically that no one altered or changed the hardware. This is super important step in order to make sure that no one basically played with your hardware wallet before you start using it or sending any crypto to it. So this is quite simple and this is the step one. Now I already verified it so I can jump to step two. And step two is basically setting a password. This is the password that will be used to unlock the device every time that you open basically your Keystone wallet. If you want to send transactions, send cryptocurrencies or send transactions to smart contracts. So make sure to memorize this password, some secure password that you can remember. Okay, so I'm gonna set out right now the password on my device. On this website, you can also see the tutorial of how to set up the password and what the meaning of it. And I'm, it's simple simply an Android device, so it's quite simple and easy to fill in the password. All right, so it's quite annoying because there are a lot of restrictions for the password. It needs to be minimum 10 characters, one uppercase, one lowercase, one number, one special car character. But this is basically for your own security that no one will hack your device. You need also to repeat it 
twice and then you can click done and move forward to the next step now automatically if your custom wallet is connected to a Wi-Fi it will ask you to update the firmware I recommend you I do recommend you to update the firmware because if you have like older version you might be exposed to security vulnerabilities right now because we are li in limited time of this tutorial I'm just gonna click skip here on the bottom and that's the important step now you can either create your wallet or import your wallet so if it's your first time setting up your device you definitely want to create your wallet but if you came up to this tutorial because something happened to your custom wallet you basically forgot a password and your device has been erased and you have the 24 seed phrase words you can click here import wallet supply and insert those 25 a phrase secret phrase in order to recover your previously deleted or lost wallet in my case this is just a completely new keystone wallet that i want to set up that's why i'm gonna click here create wallet rather than import wallet so i'm gonna click here create wallet and you have to enter the password once again that password that you just set one second ago once you enter the password you click here confirm and it will verify that this is the basically the right password and you're gonna create here create a wallet with single backup or you can create a wallet with Shamir backup so it's basically different kind of security mechanism that I don't want to get into right now with this tutorial because I want to make it short and simple I'm gonna click here the highlighted button which is a create wallet with a single backup and um, let's click it and now this is the most important thing guys basically now it's gonna show you this kind of 24 words you have to make sure to keep them in a safe place don't take a screenshot don't upload them to the Google Drive or iCloud or any cloud internet based the most recommended way to save them is in an offline way you can take a computer that is not connected to the internet with protected with a password you can write it that down there you can take a notebook maybe write them there but make sure they are stored in a secure place because if someone has access to this kind of 24 worlds he basically can restore your wallet and send transaction and on your behalf which means that you can technically steal all your crypto in this wallet so one you want to make sure you keep it in a safe place two you want to make sure that you keep it in a place where you will have access in the future so in case you lose the wallet you forget the password or something like this happens you can easily restore your original crypto wallet so just for the sake of the example i'm gonna save it as a screenshot because i'm anyway gonna delete this wallet later on and set it up again and so i'm just gonna take a picture now once you have saved your recovery phrase keystone want to make sure that you won't lose it that's why the next step will be to verify the words and you have to insert them one by one 24 different unique words in the right order make sure you enter them in the right order and that's how they know it's like some kind of repeating your password making sure that you will not forget this kind of uh, seed phrase and they actually auto complete so it's actually quite easy that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm gonna verify my 24 words once you confirm basically your 24 secret words you create cre you click basically confirm and then it's gonna create your wallet based on these words it's gonna take a while because they're gonna encrypt the wallet with your password that you supplied earlier on and so just be patient several seconds don't turn off the device make sure you have enough battery so it won't turn off now the last step will be to choose what kind of app you want to use to send transaction using this kind of keystone wallet because you initiate a transaction either from a web application or from your mobile device now i prefer to use my mobile iphone device that's why i'm going to use keystone companion app and basically anytime you will send transaction you will initiate them in your iphone device or web browser and then you will have a qr code that you will have to scan with your keystone wallet to verify the transaction through the screen that you have in your custom wallet and then after you verify it you can send it this is a very very new secure well way that keystone came up with the only one innovative way that's why i actually like this wallet so much and i'm gonna choose here keystone companion app and click confirm and by default they basically select for you ETH and BIT, but you can, BTC but you can actually add any other coins or any other tokens so for now I'm gonna just click ETH and BTC and click the V check mark on the top right on the screen
and that's it basically so now you can actually bind your keystone wallet to your mobile application or to a web app how you do it basically you can display a qr code you have a button here to display a qr code and once you download keystone wallet to your mobile device you can scan this qr code on your keystone wallet in order to bind your iphone or any other mobile phone to the keystone wallet that's how you can send transactions you initiate them easily through the keystone app on your mobile device and then you send and verify the transaction in the secure keystone wallet so i'm gonna do it later on and that's it basically guys congratulations now you have a new brand new keystone wallet with bitcoin ETH. here if you can receive and send cryptocurrencies to the wallet you can use DeFi applications to send transaction to smart contracts through this secure wallet now if you want to learn why learn more about keystone wallet and why i love this wallet so much make sure to watch my previous video about reviewing the new keystone wallet that i just got and basically that's it if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments below or join my discord community if you enjoyed this video and it helped you subscribe to the channel for more videos and of course smash that like button for the youtube algorithm thank you so much and i will see you in the next tutorials bye bye